Hello world, this is Siraj. Welcome to this channel. In our last video of this Anonym playlist, we discuss about the how to print price text. In this video, we are going to discuss about the how to add expiry date and how to trace expiry date. So let's get started. So here we have Anonym point of sale system. As you all know, we are doing computers and computer accessories for this Anonym point of sale system examples and videos. So now I'm going to open a cafe and I'm going to add some uh, dairy products. So let's see how to add those products and how to add expiry date. So let's move to products and we're going to add some uh, dairy products. So first of all, we'll create a uh, category, dairy products category. So we'll come to these products here and we'll right click here and I'm going to click on this uh, new group. So I'm going to type um, uh, dairy products. Okay, that's fine. Uh, now I'm going to make this under the products is fine now we'll save this uh, product so that's here and you can see all of the groups are in ascending order this comes under the uh, the last one so what you can do we can go back and you can come back again to this management and you can click on this uh, products and there you can see the daily products in the third as it is in the ascending order so now I'm going to add the products under this uh, dairy products. So to add the products uh, under the dairy products, as you all know, you can click on this plus new products and there we have, and I'm going to add uh, product uh, fresh uh, milk. Okay. And we can add a code. Okay. That is, we have the SKU code and I'm going to start with the number two already we have given the number for computer hardwares and softwares for one series. Now we're going to start with 2000. Then you can give the power code if you have and you can just scan the product and that will be here. And unit of measurements you can give, uh, for my case, this is a milliliter. And you can make that uh, under the dairy products. We can uh, keep under the uh, dairy products. So we can uh, keep here, okay, that is here. And you can make this product active and default quantity. And if you are having this product, so you don't want to turn this on. And age restrictions, no. And you can set the price here in this step. So you can come here, price and text. And you can set the cost of the uh, product, 200. And you can set up the margin as well. So for example, 20 percentage. And there you have the sales price. And here we have the price includes text as usual. And that's fine. And if you want to change the uh, price, uh, when you're doing sales or push so there you can turn this on otherwise you can turn this off and print stations comments we can make as usual and here we have uh, image and color then if you have any image you can browse and you can set this uh, you can watch my previous videos and you can have the detail look on that and now everything is okay and now i'm going to click on this save button and you can have the products there but in my case, um, I'm not going to save this product here, but I'm going to import uh, certain products. So here we have uh, Microsoft uh, Excel CSV file. Okay, so if I open this file, here we have this file. And here in this uh, CSV file, I have the name and product group, SKU code and barcode, measurements, cost, markup, price and other details okay so i'm going to import this uh, csv file to i don't need a point of sale system so i don't want to enter all these daily items here so let's uh, close this one and uh, i don't want to save this uh, already i saved this product uh, daily products file so we'll go back to Aronium point of sale system and here we have the import. I'm going to click on this import and there you have to select the CSV file. So for example, if you have the XML file, extensible markup language file, we can select that file as well. But in our case, we have the CSV file. So I'm going to click on this select file and I'm going to uh, select this dairy products. Okay. So now I'm going to click this open and there you have all the fields we have name product group sku barcode exactly the same order that we have in the csv file everything is okay now we have a couple of questions here and what happens if duplicates are found and we can make that uh, skip duplicates or we can merge that uh, duplicates into one item 
then here we have another question create documents from specified quantity sometime you can make that uh, as inventory count and purchase okay, we do not want to worry about that okay so for my case I did not uh, give any inventory so later we are going to add the inventory through the purchase okay so we will come down and here we have the preview button if you wish we can go for preview and you can come down again and there you can see all my uh, product uh, there as it is uh, in my csv file so that's pretty cool and now is a final step we have here import button then you can click the import and it will take in a couple of seconds and there we have we have a 20 item uh, imported successfully okay now we can close this uh, dialog box and there you can come to the dairy items then you can see all the products that we have here 20 items so we're starting with 2000 series okay that's fine now if I want to do any edit on this product you can just click on this one you can click this edit product and there you have all the items price everything we have here that's fine. Now we are going to purchase one of these or two of these items and let's see how to add expired date. So now I'm going to go to these documents and now we are going to purchase some uh, daily products. So we'll go to add and then we are going to select the purchase. Okay, we are going to select the purchase that is one of the expenses and now I'm going to click on this OK button and now we have the invoice. Now we are going to select the items. Okay, now I'm going to add uh, the number 2001. Okay, we will select from all. Now we can give the same number 2001. There we have Pelvisa uh, fresh milk. Then we can double click on that and I'm going to uh, by uh, 30 or uh, no uh, we will buy 40 items and there we can add the price before the tax okay already we have given this 200 that's what it is here okay it is appeared here and if you want you can change here as well okay it doesn't matter and the total price 8200 into 40 and here the way that you want to add the expired date now I'm going to give uh, several example. Uh, it's uh, one week time. Then the expiry date is uh, 14th of uh, March 2025. That's pretty cool. And you can add. Okay, that's fine. Now we'll add uh, one more item. I'm going to add number two, and uh, we have here uh, Lucky Lanka Cool Milk one liter. Then we are going to buy another 50 item on that and they expired also in the same date okay now we'll add uh, uh, Kotmala drinking yogurt and we'll double click and we'll buy 100 items okay and we'll add the expired date a little bit earlier than the given dates uh, we'll make it as uh, 11th of uh, March that's fine now we'll click ok and going to add uh, Another item, okay, Ambevala cheese, and this will purchase 100 uh, gram. Uh, and now I'm going to add the expiry date, okay, something uh, 20th of this month, March. Now we'll click OK. Okay, now we'll purchase all these items and we'll uh, note down the code of these items uh, 2001, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, and now I'm going to uh, pay this amount right now. Okay, so make it as paid, and you can select the supply here. So usually I'm going to buy this item from IKEA. Okay, I'm going to select this IKEA, and then uh, you can click on this save. Okay, the total amount is thirty-five thousand two five zero, and we'll click on this save button, and that is there. Now we'll come to the stock, and I'm going to click on the uh, dairy products in the dairy products in the dairy products uh, here we have no items so we'll click on the refresh here we have the items key okay, uh, 2001 to 2004 we have the quantities here now we'll make the sales okay now we'll make the sales and I'm going to uh, make the sales uh, 2001 and we are going to yes I have given the price change is allowed when we are going to make some sales so we'll take this same price and the unit is not uh, one but we are going to sell 10 items from this ok 
okay and we're going to add uh, another item 2001 and the price also same okay and going to sell about uh, five items okay and we'll make uh, 2003 okay the price also same and uh, the quantity this time will make it as 10 okay that's fine now we'll go for the payment okay then the customer is paying 5000 the balance is 290 and we'll hit the enter key okay if you wish you can uh, print the invoice and you can see the invoices like this <clears throat> and i'm going to print this invoice like this uh, as pdf file and then i can show you like uh, yes here and you can print the invoice like this else you can uh, print the receipt uh, like this and you can give the same way save it and you can have the receipt like this okay so this is the way that we get the things done okay three items and the total and the cash given and the balance okay that's fine okay now we'll make this done okay now you know how to add the uh, expire date uh, to the products okay and now let's see how we can trace these items okay how we can trace uh, or or what are the items are going to be expired in another uh, couple of days or weeks or months okay that you can easily do it so for that we can go to reporting and you can come all the way down and there you, you have uh, purchase and under the purchase we have the expiration date you can click here okay before you click the uh, print or the excel or the report you can give the dates you can give the dates that you want to trace so, for example, I want to see the products are going to be expired in next Sunday. Okay, now I'm going to click this uh, Sunday 8th of March and I'm going to click this OK. Okay, that's fine. Now, if you want to trace all the products, okay, we can make this uh, product group is product. Okay, otherwise, if you want to trace only the certain groups, you can click on this product and daily items. Okay, otherwise, you are going to have only the daily items because we have given expired date only for the product groups or uh, product group uh, daily items that's fine now i'm going to click on the show report now if i click show report okay we don't have any uh, products here you don't have any products here because uh, none of the items are going to be expired uh, before uh, this date okay so now uh, we are going to do some changes here I'm going to uh, make this uh, 15th of this March and you can click OK. Now we are going to click on the show report and there we have items. Okay, now we are going to have the items. So we are going to have the, so the deadline we have given uh, 15th of uh, March. So here we have uh, 2003, the Cotmala drinking yogurt, 200 milliliter are going to be expired uh, on 11th of uh, March. Okay, another one 14th and another one 14th, same date. Okay, earlier we have given the date uh, 8th of uh, March. Okay, so we have no expire date products under the uh, particular date that we have given. Like that, you can trace out uh, the expire date products. Okay, now we'll do one more uh, thing. Okay, uh, sometime uh, we can buy the item by batch wise. Okay, so that we can clearly you can separate that. Okay, so in my case, uh, so far the 2003 uh, product code is going to be expired um, on 11th of March 2025. Okay, now we are going to buy another set of item, okay, which are going to be expired uh, in uh, 12th of March. And now we are going to go to the documents and click on the add and going to do some purchasing and they are I'm going to buy the same 2001 okay I'm going to buy the same 2001 okay 2001 okay and this time we are going to buy uh, such 25 units okay some specific number and we're going to set the expire date on uh, 25th of March okay now we'll make it okay okay now I'm going to pay this 
uh, bill i'm going to click on this save okay that's fine now we'll go to reportings i'm going to close this one so remember so far in 2001 we have only 40 items which are going to be expired on 14th of march okay but recently we bought 25 items okay the date of expirations is uh, 25th of march so now i'm going to close this one and we'll run the same report but now i'm going to give uh, i'm going to trace uh, before the end of the uh, month uh, i'm going to uh, see uh, what are the products are going to be expired okay and we're going to click ok and we'll click on the show report okay now i'm going to zoom in and now you can see two items okay two set of uh, 2001 here the first one is 40 units okay which are going to be expired on 14th of march 2025 and like that we have another one 2001 and recently we bought 25 items which are going to be expired on 25th of march so you can sell uh, all the items which are going to be expired soon so you can uh, give some offers or you can give one to one or buy one get one free so like that you can make some offers so so far you know how to add uh, expire date and how to trace expire date in aeronium point of sale system hope you all have enjoyed this video if you love this video hit the thumbs up button if you are new to this channel click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the ring bell then you'll be getting to watch my brand new videos thank you very much guys we'll meet in the next video goodbye for now